think one of the, the things I'm always hoping with with these with these uh, with all sculpture is just um, providing an opportunity for people to have a heightened awareness of not only the sculpture but their surroundings and maybe even their body just um, bringing awareness to like the moment that is happening between the viewer and the object so really my hope is that um, the sculpture while it also is a place to kind of uh, what's the word um, travel uh, spiritually, emotionally, psychically. It's also, uh, I'm hoping that the sculptures provide a, a time and a place for people just to be really present. We were really thrilled to be able to present this exhibition at Greycliff because Sarah's work orients itself to the domestic in a way that is really unique within the contemporary field. Her work, as she says, thrives in a place where you can live with it, you can imagine living with it, you can see sitting in a room and waking up next to it. This is really the way that her work is best seen. And the warmth of the walls, the lighting inside of the house, the sunlight that passes through in this diffused manner really brings these artworks to life in a way that we just couldn't do if we were in a white cube museum space. This show is a, is a really unique opportunity to juxtapose the work of a current contemporary artist, Sarah Brayman, uh, alongside one of the great architectural masters of the 20th century, Frank Lloyd Wright. We've been very lucky to be able to work with such good partners at Greycliff to be able to install Sarah Brayman's work both inside of the home and also around the grounds. This is the first time that Sarah has been able to exhibit both of her indoor sculptures, works that ask you to engage with them by moving around them and, and considering them in the space that they're in, and also her outdoor works, which ask you to actually step inside to take part in her work and, and to really engage by being within the space that they create. This is really an incredible opportunity for us at Greycliff to allow a different type of access into our historic site. So part of our mission is to be publicly accessible and that can be interpreted as open to the public uh, with programming, you know, physically open to the public, but I'd like to interpret it also as layers of access. So this allows a, a different um, experience on the property, a different perspective, and again, a different access point into our history through uh, a conversation with contemporary sculpture. So this piece behind um, still has the, there's glass that's fitted into frames that will be fitted into this piece. So there's a, a piece on the top, there's a piece on the side, and then there's a small box. And the, the box that's going to be fitted on, onto this side um, will be filled with books. So it'll be like a small little reading library. So particularly with the outdoor sculptures, um, hopefully there's a heightened awareness of color, of light, of mass, and what mass does to the body. And certainly with the, with the sculptures, these, these in particular are outdoor works, like there's a lot of framing. So framing up different views for people to encourage people to kind of stop, both stop and experience a view, but also to keep moving around and that's sometimes where the glass comes in because the light is always shifting so and there's there's kind of different transparencies so ho hopefully it encourages people to like to move to move around the sculpture and um, and that kind of engagement where 
maybe the brain turns off and it's more experiential and it becomes really about looking and feeling, feeling the air on your body, feeling the, the listening, um, what your eye is doing and just getting lost in kind of the experience. There's a really unique relationship between the materials that Sarah uses in her work um, and, the, and the materials that are found in the construction of, of the home. And if you look around, you'll see common construction materials, glass, concrete, and especially in the outdoor monumental works, those play a really important part to Sarah's practice. Both, both the, the home and the large outdoor works create a space that invites you inside and asks you to take part and be part of the actual space. And those works were, were fabricated here in Western New York. Um, because of their scale and their complexity, we worked with a number of different fabricators and contractors in the region to really bring her, her monumental vision to life and, and create them for this space. One of the things that's particularly interesting to me as a curator of this exhibition is that we are presenting works in the interior of the house that you as a viewer can encounter and walk around and see how that object sort of moves in relation to you. You can move in relation to it. And you're outside of it, but you're witnessing the way that it behaves and the way that the light behaves. And then when you step outside, you actually get to enter into the sculptures and you get to inhabit the space that's really similar to those spaces that you were observing at a remove when you were inside of the house. So all of a sudden, you go from inside the house looking at a volume, a cube of blue and purple glass, and then you're moving out into this garden and you get to enter yourself into a volume of blue and purple glass. And so that experience is actually going to shift the way that your perception is engaging with these materials. And you will both be inside of and outside of the art objects in the context of one exhibition. These works will also change throughout the year. Uh, this is a long running exhibition and these works will be here through multiple seasons. Uh, as those seasons change and the patterns of the sun change, the large outdoor works will have completely different responses to the way that light interacts with them. And there'll be brand new shadows and brand new colors created when the sun goes through different panes of glass. Um, we really hope the visitors will come and experience these pieces multiple times. I mean, it's been a thrill to like be indoors and seeing some of the works in the rooms and then look out the window and you see these pieces, you know, framed through these amazing windows. And I feel like this house, every window that you look out is this beautiful framing already so it is it's that that's been such a thrill um, to have these two things coincide on this one site and yeah I feel very lucky that that's what's happening here